Now students, once you are clear with depository and DMAT account, let's learn about few more terms that is brokers, jobbers, bulls, bears, bullish phase, bearish phase. In this video, let's start with the brokers. Broker is an intermediary between the company who issues the financial instruments that is shares, debentures, bonds, etc. through the stock exchange and the investor who needs to sell, purchase or transact with the securities that is the general public. So broker is an investor who buys and sells securities on behalf of outsiders, non-members or general public. Broker is permitted by Security Exchange Board of India. He is given a license, he is given a permission but not general public. So we, the general public who need to transact with the financial instruments, we need to approach the brokers. He charges commission for this purpose and this commission is known as brokerage. He does not specialize any one specific or particular type of security. Rather, he deals in those securities and transact with those securities as per the orders placed by the clients. That is, it is not so that he will be selling only the equity shares. He can sell preference shares, he can sell debentures, he can sell bonds. Whatever is demanded by the investor, he deals with all such instruments and not any one specific type of instruments. Next term is jobber. Jobber is also an investor just like a broker. But the basic difference is generally this jobber is transacting for himself and not for others. And he is specialized in only one type of securities. That is maybe only equity shares. He transact only with the equity shares or only with the debentures. He is specialized only with any one particular type of securities. Now what is his earning? Since he is purchasing, he is transacting for himself. So he cannot uh, charge commission from himself therefore he earns from the price difference between the purchase and the sale price of securities so i hope that you are clear who is a jobber he is an investor who buys and sells securities for himself for his own purpose generally remember it is not specific that he will be purchasing for himself he can purchase for clients also but generally he purchases for himself this jobber is also known as Taravaniwala in Mumbai Stock Exchange. A Taravaniwala may also deal on behalf of others. But generally he deals for himself and uh, he, he cannot charge the commission for himself. And he is specialized in only a particular type of securities. Now next term very commonly used in stock exchange is the bull. Remember this is associated with an animal bull who is active. Once you associate this with an animal, you will be able to understand what is bull and what is bullish phase. He is that broker, he is that speculator who expect a high rise in price of securities in the near future and buys them to sell at a higher price in the future. So he is that broker on a, in a stock exchange who is expecting a future high rise in the prices. When bulls dominate the condition in the stock market, this is known as bullish market or bullish phase which you might have heard many a times and you might be confused what is a bullish phase. Bullish market or bullish phase is that phase when bulls that is those brokers who expect the higher rise in prices in the near future, they dominate the market and that becomes a bullish market or the bullish phase. They are also known as Teji Wala in, in India. When there is a fall in price of securities, bulls have to sell at loss and that is known as bull liquidation. But basically you need to remember what are bulls and what is a bullish phase. So remember that bull is that broker who is expecting a future high rise in the price. That person is a bull, that broker is a bull and his dominance is known as the bullish market. Next term is beer. Beers are uh, this is also associated with an animal. Bear is such an animal who is lazy, very lazy. He is sluggish. He is always sleepy. And he refers to, this term refers to that speculator or that broker in a stock exchange who expects a fall of securities. Hence, sells for future delivery known as short selling. He sells securities with the hope to buy them 
at a lower price before the date of delivery so this beer these beers are those brokers those speculators who are expecting a high uh, decrease in the prices in the near future and for this reason they sell presently so that they can buy at a lower price in the near future they are also known as mandi wala when these bears dominate the market that is known as bearish market so i hope that you are clear with all the terms now that is bulls bears uh, thirdly we learnt about the jobbers brokers so and moreover we also learnt about the depository and demat account and once all these terms are clear it will be very comfortable for you to learn the trading procedure thank you